Today on MTG Unpacked, we're continuing our patron snack pack construction for February 2019. So if you didn't catch the video yesterday, you might want to go back, check that out. Had some absolutely crazy pulls in there and a couple of new surprises. So the snack pack box is now restocked, ready for part two. So I hope you'll enjoy this this month. And to do the pack blessing duties, if they are needed, we have Ajani and Kiora. So let's move them aside, put them over there. And first up, we have Lucas M. Pennington. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So we're going to do the usual thing. We'll get five commons or uncommons. So we'll start off with that. Three, four, and five. And I've been doing like five and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right. And one foil. And a rare or mythic. And another one. All right. And then on the next set of snap packs, I will speed all this up because you will know the drill by that point. All right. Good luck, Lucas. Let's see what we can get you today. We start off on a fantastic note, as some of you may realize, we have a Goblin Balloon Brigade Creature Goblin Warrior 113 Single Mountain. We love the goblins here, yes we do. Next up we have a Basking Rootwaller, Star Crown Stag, Explosive Apparatus, Smite. And in the Uncommons we have Inspiring Unicorn, one of these split cards, Integrity and Intervention. A Pygmy Troll. This guy's pretty cool from Exodus. Hero of Erewis. Cathedral Membrane. And the foil is Chief of the Foundry. I like the foiling on that one. Very nice. And your rare, oh, nice pull, a Raging Ravine. So this is a land and tis better tapped. You can tap it for mountains or forests. Pay to a mountain or forest until end of turn. It becomes a 3-3 red and green elemental creature with whenever this creature attacks. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. It's still a land. All right, so that one's from Ultimate Masters. And your second rare here, sir, is Beast Whisperer. Creature Elf Druid, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. So that guy's a 2-3 for 4 mana. Alright, so some nice pulls for you today, Lucas. Let's set this aside. And a little bit, a little note about Lucas. He's up again because one snap pack was not enough for Lucas. No, he said, I would like to upgrade for this month. To the Jackalope Behemoth tier, which means he has two snap packs and eight standard packs, or for this month only, and the supplies are very limited, he chose to have two Ultimate Masters packs instead. So those will be coming up in a future video, so stay tuned for that. And let's see, make sure I've counted properly, because I have a habit of miscounting. Okay, good. And then we'll grab another foil here for you, sir. And a rare. And a second one. Okay, good luck again, Lucas. And I'm wondering if there'll be demand, maybe at some point people will say, is there any chance I could get three snack packs? Well, we shall see. Leave a note in the comments if you believe there should be a tier with three snack packs. Could be a little pricey though, but let me know. All right, next we have Bristling Boar. Grave Bane Zombie. That's pretty cool from Mirage. Whoa, what is this? 
A standard pack. Okay, so Lucas, here is your standard pack. We will be cracking that shortly. And you get the rare mythic foil and anything over a buck out of that. So set this aside. Explosive apparatus, narcolepsy. And for the uncommons, we have World Soul Colossus, Crawl Harpooner, Sand Strangler. Okay, I had to check if that was an uncommon. Emissary of Sunrise, Act on Impulse. And I love that artwork, that's pretty cool. I think I've seen that in foil as well. Really glistens on the glasses there. And the foil is a foil rare Archdemon of Paliano. So this is a creature demon. 5-4 for 4 mana from Conspiracy Take the Crown. Draft Archdemon of Paliano face up as long as it's face up during the draft. You can't look at booster packs. I must draft cards at random. After you draft 3 cards this way, turn Archdemon of Paliano face down. And it has flying. Alrighty. And for the rare, you have a Tukatli on the guard. Creature Human Soldier 1, 3 for 2 mana. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. And a mythic Phyrexian Scriptures. It's an enchantment saga for four from Dominaria. As this saga enters and after your draw step out a law counter, sacrifice after three. Number one is put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. Two is destroy all non artifact creatures and three is exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. All right. So that is not all. You have a standard pack here, sir. So let's crack into this. Okay, we have a Savage Smash. Viscopa Vampire. Let's move things around here. Arrestor's Admonition, Scorchmark. Plague White, Axbane Beast, Dead Revels, Rampaging Rendhorn. Get the point. And it seems like it's focusing on these guys over here, so I'll move them out of the way. Justicia's Portal. And Uncommons, we have a Trollbred Guardian, Troll Frog Warrior, Basilica Bellhaunt, Cult Guild Mage, and there is the Puppet Jace. And the rare is Smothering Tithe. So this is enchantment for four. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, you create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap, sack this artifact, and add one mana of any color. So a nice pull. And a Simic Guildgate. And a Beast token. Alrighty, so let's get those cards out of the way here. And you have your second snap pack here, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Alright, next up we have... Elfa Elzaga, Elzaga, I think. Sorry if I butchered your name there. Good luck, ma'am. We will get you a snack pack here momentarily. All right, let's see what we have here for Elfa. Good luck. We set off with takedown. Vile Deacon, and I'm not even sure what set that is. That's one of the older ones we've opened on the channel. Ebony Charm, so Mirage. Goblin Motivator, Creature Goblin Warrior, 1-1 one, one for a single mountain, and he gives you all the motivation you need right there at the tip of his club. Kenra Scrapper, and for the uncommons we have Tectonic Rift. Diligent Excavator, Sift, Hidden Stockpile, that was a cool one back in the day. And it looks like you get an extra rare here, Creepy Doll, Artifact Creature Construct 1-1 one, one for 5 mana. Creepy Doll is indestructible. Whenever Creepy Doll deals combat damage to a creature, flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy that creature. A child's porcelain doll went missing one night, as did a pair of kitchen shears and the town magistrate. Holy moly, and that reminds me of House on the Rock. If you've ever been there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
very creepy and a foil rare fraying omnipotence nice sorcery for five each player loses half their life then discards half the cards in their hand, then sacrifices half the creatures they control, round up each time. All right. And I think that's, yeah, that's Nicole Bolas there. And for the rares, we have Champion of Wits, Creature Naga Wizard 2 1 for 3 mana. When it enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power if you do discard two cards, and you can eternalize for five and two islands. Very nice. And a Sliver Hive. It's a land, add one to your mana pool. Or you can tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a Sliver Spell. Or pay five and tap, put a 1-1 one, one color Sliver Critch token onto the battlefield. Activate this ability only if you control a Sliver. All right, so some great pools there today. And as you can see, Elf has already got some cards in her pack here. So we did the pack openings already. And for the other patrons, we'll take care of those in the coming weeks. So thank you for being a patron, Alpha. Much appreciated. Next up, we have You Mad Bra 99. Good luck, sir. All right, let's see what we've got for you today. We start off with a, out of focus, out of focus, Bog Stomper, Ingot Chewer, Infernal Scarring, Resurrection, Hissing Iguana, Culling Dias, Coordinated Assault, Golgari Thug. And if I'm not mistaken, that's worth a buck or two. And an extra rare here. Mind Shrieker, Creature Spirit Bird, 1-1 one, one for 2 mana with Flying Pay 2. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And it gets plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is at card's converted mana cost. And Ulamog's Nullifier. And your foil is a promo, Rona Disciple of Gix. Very nice. And a mythic, Dream Eater. Creature Nightmare Sphinx 4-3 for 6 mana with Flash and Flying. When it enters the battlefield, Surveil 4. When you do, you may return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. And I believe we saw this fellow the other day, so he is haunting our nightmares. And a Gilded Lotus. Very nice. Artifact for five. Tap it for three mana of any one color. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoy your pulls this month. You mad bra, 99. Thank you for being a patron. Much appreciated. Next up we have Travis Taylor. Good luck, sir. Alright, Travis, let's see what we've got for you today. We start off with a Kelden Overseer. Satyr Wayfinder. Pestilent Soul Eater. Peel from Reality. Microsynth Wellspring. Grun the Lonely King. Blast of Genius. Call to the Feast. Brawn, Plume Veil, and your foil here is a Kari Zev Skyship Raider, rare, very nice. Legendary Creature Human Pirate 1 3 for 2 mana with First Strike and Menace, and this is my favorite part. Whenever Kari Zev Skyship Raider attacks, create a legendary 2 1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan that's tapped and attacking. Excel that token at the end of combat, very nice. Love the little monkey who pops out and does some damage. Next we have Cleansing Nova. So this is your rare. Sorcery for five. Choose one. Destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. And your second rare is Eldritch Evolution. So sorcery for three. As an additional cost to cast Eldritch Evolution, sack a creature. Search your library for a creature card with command mana cost X or less. 
where X is two plus the sacrifice creatures can burn mana cost, put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Exile Eldritch Evolution. So a bit of reading to do there, but still it seems like a fun card. All right, so I hope you enjoy those, Travis. Thanks for being a patron. Next up we have Benjamin Sullivan. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, Benjamin, let's see what we've got here. Starting off with some very cool artwork. This is Bone Harvest from Mirage. Very nice. Spark Spitter. Stampeding Horncrest. Goblin Elite Infantry, summon goblins. There they are, two two for two mana. Lanawar Elves, there's an old favorite. And for the uncommons, we have Disinformation Campaign. Untamed Kevu, Illusory Angel, Settle the Score. And oh my, a standard pack for you today, sir. Let's pop that over here. Grab a standard pack of Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, and your foil is Mog Flunkies Creature Goblin. 3-3 three, three for 2 mana. There we go, love the goblins. And the rare is Elvish Clan Caller. Creature Elf Druid. 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. Other elves you control get plus 1 plus 1. And for 4 and 2 forest tap. Search your library for a card named Elvish Clan Caller. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. And a mythic. Moltani, Yavamaya's avatar. So this is a 0-0 for 6 legendary creature elemental avatar. Reach and trample. And it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each land you control. And each land card in your graveyard. That's pretty cool. Pay 1 and a forest. Return 2 lands you control to their owner's hand. And return Moltani from your graveyard to your hand. Alright. So let's... Pop them in here, and then we will do your standard pack here, sir. Good luck. Oh. And I forgot the pack blessings. I believe I may have forgotten them on the previous one, so... My deepest apologies. But maybe it was a pack cursing we would have avoided last time. You never know. Alright. Let's go. We have Humongulus Stormstrike. Civic Stalwart, Fairy Duelist, Noxious Grudian, Steeple Creeper, Frog Snake, excuse me. <clears throat> Losing my voice, too many goblins, Rakdos Roustabout, Stony Strength, Imperious Oligarch, Watchful Giant, and for the uncommons here, we have Senate Guild Mage, Wall of Lost Thoughts, Spirit of the Spires and Rare is Thrash and Threat. So Thrash is an instant for two target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. And Threat is a sorcery for four. Create a 4-4 four, four red and green beast creature token with trample. Alright, and a Rakdos Skillgate and some ooze. Okay, so let's pop those aside. And get this rare into your envelope. Thank you for being a patron, Benjamin. Much appreciated. Next up, we have Jonathan Vogelsang. So, as you can see, he's already had his packs opened. So, let's build a snack pack for him today. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, Jonathan, let's take a look at what you're getting this month. We start off with a Highland game. We'll get some focus here, please. There we go, it took a while. Stoic Rebuttal, Abnormal Endurance, Slum Reaper Creature Horror. And here's an old one for Mirage, Radiant Essence. It's pretty cool. Skizik, Uncommons, Songs of the Damned, Jaddy Offshoot, and an extra rare. Okay, the wild cards are really firing today, so let's get you an extra rare here, sir. Pop that on the back, hopefully, without anybody seeing it. 
Set this aside and you get... I'm guessing this is an extra rare just in the common or uncommon... Uh, yeah, in the uncommon slot. Sarah's Guardian. So I sometimes chuck those in there if they're worth than a buck. Less than a buck. Creature Angel 5-5 five, five for 6 mana with Flying and Vigilance. Other creatures you control have Vigilance. Alright, and a nice foil here, Scorched Rizalka. I like the foiling on that one, pretty cool. And the first of your three rares, you have Shalai, Voice of Plenty, Legendary Creature Angel 3-4 for 4 mana with flying. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. And for 4 and 2 forests, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Oh, we have another Raging Ravine. All right, so we saw this one earlier. Enter Battlefield tapped, and so on and so forth. And a mythic, Wakening Sun's Avatar. So this is a creature dinosaur avatar, seven, seven, four, eight mana. Craziness, when it enters Battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. All right, so there we go, Jonathan. Your pack will go out along with your cards in the next mailing. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Next up we have Slycor01. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, let's see what we can get for Slycor01. <laughs> Great pull to begin with. We have... And out of focus, I really don't like this out of focus. There we go. Black Cleave Goblin, or I should say, Black Cleave Goblin, Creature Goblin Zombie. 2-1 for 4 man with haste and infect. He definitely looks infected there. And a Gitu Slinger. Nice old school artwork there. Shriek Raptor. Grasp of Darkness. Loving this old artwork. Highland game. And for the uncommons we have City Watch Sphinx. Diligent Excavator. Warfire Javelinier. Dark Steel Citadel. Bontu's Monument. What the heck? I think this one's been in there for a while. So this is an extra special rare you get an extra rare and a foil. OMG. Okay, so this one has been sitting in the foil slot for quite a while. Has not gone off, but today is the day. Okay, so we get a rare and an extra foil. All right, and an extra mythic here because this was, I think it's one of the lower value ones in the uncommon slot. We have Chromium the Mutable, Legendary Creature Elder Dragon 7747 seven, mana with Flash. The spell can't be counted, has Flying. Discard a card until end of turn, Chromium the Mutable becomes a human with base power and toughness 1-1, one, one, loses all abilities and gains Hexproof. It can't be blocked this turn. And, oh wow, what is going on here? Oh, you know what? So that was, that was worth more than a buck, I believe. So the extra rare and foil was in the foils. So there wasn't a foil, but there isn't. We replaced it and gave you an extra rare. Okay, I know what's happening. Okay, threw me for a loop there. Arcades, or Arcades, the strategist. Leave a note in the comments how you would pronounce that. Legendary creature, Elder Dragon, 3-5 for 4 mana. Mythic! With flying and vigilance, whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card, and each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Alright, that seems pretty good. And here is your foil at last. Desecrated Tomb. So this is a promo, very nice promo rare. It's an artifact for three. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. And your extra rare here is a Gigantosaurus. Creature dinosaur, 10-10 for five mana. Holy moly, massive beast. All right, 
So there you go, Slycor01, you got the extra special bonus card, the foil and rare there. Next up, thank you for being a patron by the way, we have KTW. Good luck Katie, I hope we can get you some spicy pulls here today. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got for you here. We start off with Overgrown Battlement. And again, we seem to be having this focus problem today. I guess there's a lot to focus on in the background there. Lace with Moonglove. Ill-Tempered Cyclops. Cavalry Drillmaster. Revitalize. And for the Uncommons, I love this artwork. Profane Memento. Witchbane Orb. So this is an extra rare chucked in there. Artifact for four when Witchbane Orb enters battlefield. Destroy all curses attached to you. And you have Hexproof. Seems pretty good. Prismatic Lens. Oath of Gideon. Okay, so another rare. Legendary Enchantment for three. When Oath of Gideon enters battlefield, put two. 1-1 one, one white core ally creature tokens onto the battlefield and each planeswalker you control enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on it. It's pretty cool. Sunblade Elf. And your foil is Loyal Sentry. And oh, a planeswalker. There's Gideon. Yes, mythic. Gideon of the Trials. So he was a decent one back in the... Earlier iteration of standard Planeswalker Gideon, 3 loyalty for 3 mana. His plus 1 is until your next turn prevent all damage target permanent would deal. His 0, so you can just trigger that for no change in loyalty. Until end of turn, Gideon of Charles becomes a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible. That's still a Planeswalker. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to him this turn. So that was pretty annoying. Uh, someone would just wait until Gideon was targeted for damage and then they would say, no, nope, he's a indestructible dude and prevent all damage. So yeah, leave a note in the comments if you had fun with that back in the day. And his second zero here is you get an emblem with as long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. That was also quite annoying. And a Flagstones of True Care. Very nice, the legendary land. Tap it for a planes, and when it is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. All right. So there you go, Katie. Much appreciated. Thank you for being a patron. All right, so we have, looks like, four more patrons. We have Paper Time up next. Good luck, sir. Alrighty, let's see what we can get for paper time today. We start off with Dwindle. Cadaverous Knight. That's pretty cool. Love the old artwork on that one. Grave Scrabbler. Fire Elemental. Tolarian Scholar. And for the uncommons here, we have Glowstone, or Glowspore, not Glowstone, Glowspore Shaman. Frenzied Goblin, Creature Goblin Berserker, 1-1 one, one for a single mountain. And whenever it attacks, you may pay a mountain if you do target creature, can't block this turn. Sudden Reclamation. Crackling Drake, there's a good one. This one's in uh, one of the popular decks in standard right now. Supreme Will and a Foil Meteorite and your first rare here is Iron Eyes. So this is an instant for three counter target spell. Iron Eyes deals two damage to that spell's controller and the second one is Tender Shoot Dryad. Creature Dryad 2-2 two, two for uh, five mana. Has a Send, so if you control ten or more permanents you get City's Blessing for the rest of the game. And at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1 1 green sapling creature token and saplings you control get plus 2 plus 2 as long as you have the city's blessing. So keep cranking out these saplings there. 
Thank you very much, Paper Time, for being a patron. Next up we have Eric Kinsey. Good luck, sir. All right, let's see what we can get for Eric today. We start off with, again with the focus, Turn to Mist, Omen Speaker, Corpse Cur, it's a weird looking creature, Barrow Gall, that's pretty cool. What is that? The Dark, I believe. Summon Zombie, Turn to Slag, and a random mythic just chucked in there, Palladium or Zaruna. Mythic, legendary creature, Elder Dragon, 6-6, six, 4-6 six, six mana, has flying, vigilance, and trample, and it has hexproof as it, if it hasn't dealt damage yet. A Golgari Thug, that's a nice pull. Fungal Plots, Ravenous Harpy, Knight of Grace, and your foil is, holy moly, that's a foil rare. Maverin Fine Dusk Apostle, Legendary Creature Vampire Cleric, 2-2 for 3 mana. Whenever one or more non-token vampires you control, attack, create a 1-1 one, one white vampire creature token with lifelink. And another nice pull, Chromatic Lantern, artifact for 3. Lands you control have, tap, add 1 mana of any color, and you can tap it for add 1 mana of any color, and... A Goblin Chain Whirler! Creature Goblin Warrior! 3-3 three, three for 3 mana. With first strike, when Goblin Chain Whirler enters the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. So that gets rid of a lot of pesky little creatures on the board. So thank you for being a patron, Eric. Much appreciated. And next up, we have Neil Ellis. Let's see what we can get for Neil today. Good luck, sir. All right, and as you can see, the the box is getting emptied out rapidly, so we're going to have to do some restocking soon. Okay, we start off here with a panic spell bomb. Uncle Istvan. And what set is that? Oh, that one. Yeah, so the one earlier I thought was the dark, but no, it's that moon. I don't know if you can see that, the moon shape there. So he is an iconic character from back in the day. Rune of Protection Black from Urza's. Another Urza's. Mark of Fury. Night Revelers. And for the uncommons, we have Urgros, the empty one. Rigging Runner. Creature Goblin Pirate! Looks more like a weird monkey goblin, I believe, from Ixlan. 1-1 one, one for a single mountain. Just the Strike. Welkin Hawk from Exodus. Diamond Mare. And your foil is a fourth bridge prowler. And a mythic! Oh, that one's a good one. Soul of New Phyrexia. Artifact creature, Avatar, 6646 six, six mana from M15 has trample. Pay 5 permanent to control gain, indestructible until end of turn. And pay 5, exile this from your graveyard. Permanent to control gain, indestructible until end of turn. And, oh, here's one of the other planeswalkers in the box. We have a Johnny Unyielding Mythic. Planeswalker Johnny for loyalty for six mana. His plus two. Reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all non-land permanent cards revealed this way into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in any order. His minus two exile target creature. His control against life equal to its power and his minus nine ultimate. Is put five plus one plus one counters on each creature you control and five loyalty counters on each other planeswalker you control. All right, fantastic pull there, and. We have to do a quick comparison. Yes, you can tell by the large weapon here that is definitely a Johnny, and of course the eye. Poor Johnny had a little kitten scratch in his eye, and yeah, if you know what the story is with that, leave a note in the comments. Thank you for being a patron, Neil. And finally, to wrap up, 
February 2019, we have Ethan Dorego. Good luck, sir. Spoiler. Yes, you may have seen a double-faced card there. Can't be helped. All right. So Ethan's like, yes. First off, we have a giant out of Focus Mantis, but there he is. Looks like he's picking up some Pegasus, Pegasi for a little bit of a snack. Kiln Fiend, Gaia's Protector, Typhoid Rats! Ooh, Creature Rat 1-1 one, one for a single Swamp with Death Touch. Nasty beady little eyes, look at that little thing. Watch out, Might of the Masses, Hidden Herbalists, so we're on to the Uncommons now. Call to the Feast, Longfin Skyway, oh what the heck is that? Did anybody play that, uh, I think it was an iPhone game, Whale Trail, reminds me a bit of that. Merciless Eternal, Glimmer of Genius, that was a staple in the control decks back in the day. And your foil is a Fathom Fleet Firebrand with Hadana's Climb. So this is the rare we saw. Legendary Enchantment for three. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Then if that creature has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, transform Hadana's Climb into the Winged Temple of Arazka. Okay, so... It's so a legendary land, tap it for adding one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Pay one in a forest and an island, tap it, target creature you control, gains flying and gets plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is its power. Alright, and oh, we've got quite a few of these apparently. A Gilded Lotus, so this is an artifact for five. Tap it, add three mana of any one colour. Alright, so thank you for being a patron, Ethan, much appreciated. And it has been a truly epic snap pack construction video today I'm actually thinking the way things are going we've reached the point where I'm gonna to have to split into even more videos so I'll probably go to four videos for the patron snap packs leave a note in the comments what you think of that it's just that this is going to take me hours and hours and hours to edit all right so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released and if you too would like to get in on the pack cracking action and the snack pack construction like the other patrons here I will leave a link to the MTG Unpack Patreon in the description for the video here where you can check that out thanks for watching and have a great day